Crush. Good morning, Crushers. It is 11:11. Uh, it's Crush Wednesday, and uh, I am super, super excited to be here with you and to be bringing you this Crush Wednesday live from rainy Sydney town today. Actually, so it's 11:11, and we are ready and set to get going. So. Today we're actually talking about the fourth quarter. So it is the calendar year that we're talking about. So we're talking about October, November and December. And we're looking at how to finish 2019 really, really strong. So I'm sure that you guys uh, in the past or in January of this year uh, have set some really great personal and business goals. So we're just going to be talking about today those business goals and making sure that between now and the end of the fourth quarter, now and the end of the year, hey David, uh, talking about the fourth quarter, making sure that by December, we really have nailed everything that we wanted to, both personally and professionally, okay? So this is what we like to call the magic uh, of the fourth quarter, and this is where it all starts to come together. This is the pointy end of the year. This is, uh, this is really where, where the magic happens. So I want you to um, firstly just throw me a quick little wave, a quick hello, a quick love or a like in there. Let me know where you're joining me from as well. So you might be on public transport right now, you might be cozy in your home, wherever you are, pop it down in comments. It's always good to know where everybody is at and where they're joining me from. Um, Really great to see some people um, popping up now and, uh, and joining us this morning. All right, beautiful. So, um, also guys, this is my first Facebook Live with Com by myself. They're letting me fly solo, super awesome. So, I want you to know, I'd lo I love interaction. I love you to post lots of little comments down there and also, uh, you know, throw me a love or a like. I love seeing it all flash up before my eyes. That's really great engagement. And so, the more that you can do that, I would absolutely love for you to participate there. Cool, alrighty, so. What we're going to start with right now, I've got four tips for you today, four steps, four simple steps on how to achieve magic in the fourth quarter. And what I want you to think about first and foremost is how you finish 2019 is how you will start 2020. So we always have to be thinking about that. Finishing the year strong is going to then help us to start 2020 even stronger, okay? So it's what we do now in these last three months of the year is really gonna set us up for a super strong January and 2020 and beyond. So are you ready for my four steps? Throw me some little love hearts, some likes. I wanna see all of that engagement. Thank you, Ev, for playing along at home. I love that. So throw me lots of loves, lots of likes. We're gonna start with step number one. So if you've got a pen and a paper, or you've got some notes happening there, I want you to jot this down. Our first step to creating magic in the fourth quarter is to start with the end in mind. Now you might think, okay, now what? But this is really, really super important. And I want you just to recognize right now that for a lot of us, the future has a lot of fear around it. Okay, right now, um, looking into the future and sort of, you know, thinking about the end of the year, that could create a lot of stress, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety in a lot of people. Give me a little like if that resonates with you. And also, you know what, you might be watching this on replay. So if you're watching this on replay, throw those little likes in there. I wanna see who has a little bit of fear or who's a little bit scared of that, um, you know, the fourth quarter and starting with the end in mind. The future can be a scary place. Um, we can't predict what people are going to do. We can't predict what business is going to do. We can't make people do things. So we can't control everything as much as we would like to. And this is where I think, you know, thinking big can seem really hard because our feet are in the present moment. And so it's hard to sort of have that foresight and go, oh, what's happening down the track? Um, and we get a little bit stuck where we are right now because it does get scary to, to think those big big picture and biz, big business thoughts. So um, I don't want you to get stuck though. So how we need to combat that is to not accept this year's numbers as a standard. So where you are right now, I don't want you to go, okay, well, this is where we're at. This is how life is because it doesn't have to be. 
We're business owners, we're entrepreneurs, we are in a growth mindset phase and this is really important. So I want you not to accept what you have currently, okay? That can sound a bit tricky, a little bit hard, but what we want to do is we really want to challenge our minds to a growth mindset and we're going to go, no, how things are today is not how it needs to be. Throw me a little like if, if you're up for that. If you more, if you want to look at the big picture, you want to think, yeah, let's, let's aim for a little bit more. How things are today does not need to be your norm. It doesn't have to be how your future will be, all right? Um, so to achieve those big goals, we need to aim for what we want and not for what we have now, okay? We need to set those expectations. And I want you to just reflect upon, reflect upon your present moment right now. And if you were to look at your, yourself in business from when you first started, so that might, for some of you, it might be four months ago, for some it might be four years ago, for some it might be 40 years ago, who knows? But think about yourself, the first day in your business. And I want you to think about where you are now in comparison to where you started, because what I could probably say to you is the, what you've achieved right now at one point in your career felt unattainable to you back then when you first started. Would you agree? Throw me a little like or a love heart if that makes sense. If you agree with that, that where you are today would have felt unattainable at some point, throw me a little like or a love heart because you know, you need to give yourself credit where credit's due. You've achieved so much in the time that you have been in business and what you what still lays ahead in front of you is huge. It's massive. There are, it's it's limitless. It's, you know, there are so many opportunities and possibilities out there for you to achieve. Hey Bob, thanks for joining us. We're just talking about our very first step in achieving magic in the fourth quarter. So the first step is to start with the end in mind. So what we're gonna do now is put the attention on the numbers that we want to achieve, okay? We're gonna live and breathe what we want to be our reality in 2019 when we're at the end of the year, okay? And it's kind of like, we're gonna create the future here, which is kind of cool, all right? So what we're going to do is we're gonna think about it as though, uh, same sort of analogy as planning a wedding or planning a birthday party or planning a holiday. So we, we can kind of see the end of it and go, yeah, we're gonna go on a holiday to New York or we're going to, good on you, Bob, I love the thumbs up, thank you. Um, you know, we might be thinking about you know, we're going to New York, we're going to Hawaii, or we're getting married on a particular date in 12 months time. And we start to really envisage it. We start to really understand and comprehend that, hey, I'm going here, I'm doing this, and these are the people that are going to be around me. And this is the food that we might be eating. And this is the drinks that we might be drinking. And this is the location, and this is how it might feel. And this is gonna be the temperature. So we start to get a really good understanding of what that wedding or what the birthday or what the holiday is going to look and feel like okay that's exactly what we're about to do right now with your business so this is step one we've completed step one starting with the end in mind we're getting our minds ready for the end okay so give me a thumbs up give me a like throw me a love most importantly if step one resonates with you i need some sort of interaction there so starting with the end in mind is step one I'm gonna share something a little bit fun with you right now because uh, the team here at Com and I have been working busily and we've actually created something really cool and funky for you. From today's crush, we have a, a handout for you. And it looks a little bit like this. So if you would like our handout, what I would love for you to do is put that little hashtag, so hashtag magic in the comments below. So I want you to put that hashtag magic in the comments below. And at the end of this live, you're going to get our handout. And this is really going to help you just to nut out the nuts and bolts of where you wanna be in the fourth quarter. Awesome, loving the thumbs up guys. Thank you so much. Cool, are we ready for step number two? I am, let's get into it. So step number two, if you're writing them down, here it is. We're going to assume that we've already achieved the goal. Now you might sit there and think, how are we gonna do that? So I'm gonna ask you to do something that's a little bit random for a Facebook Live. Thank you, Jamie, for the hashtag magic, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to do something that's a little bit different, a little bit off the cuff for a Facebook Live. Now you're either sitting in front of a phone, an iPad, a laptop, a computer screen, some sort of device is in front of you and you're watching me. Your eyes are open, I'm guessing. Next thing I'm gonna ask you to do is actually close your eyes. 
So we're gonna have a little moment of envisaging what this looks like for you. So right now, I want you to close your eyes wherever you are. If you're walking, this could be a bit tricky. Maybe you stand to the side, but close your eyes right now. And what I want you to think about is I want you to really put yourself in the future. Today is now the 31st of December, 2019. It's the last day of the quarter. It's the last day of 2019. And it's the last day that you have had in your business for this year. I want you to really visualize it. Get a sense of where you are. Who are you with? What's around you? How are you feeling? And when you're thinking about where you are and who you're with, maybe, you know, it's New Year's Eve as well, guys. So it's New Year's Eve. What are you doing? Maybe, maybe you're on a beach somewhere with friends, sipping champagne, having a beach party. Maybe you're in the city and uh, you're watching the fireworks and you're partying the night away. Maybe, maybe you're just at home with friends and family, your, your nearest and dearest, having a barbecue, listening to some great music. But wherever you are, it's the end of the year. It's the 31st of December. And right now, you're reflecting on the year that was, both personally and professionally. And I want you to focus more on the professionally just for this exercise and think about how you're feeling. How do you feel about your business? What are you celebrating in your business? This is 2019, a whole year has happened, has elapsed right in front of you. And now you're celebrating every success, every goal that, that you put into place, every single goal that you've set yourself in 2019 has been achieved. You've conquered it, you've slayed it, you're amazing. Can you feel how awesome that feels? All right, you can open your eyes now, but key is stay back on the 31st of December. We're still in the 31st of December right now. All right, so you're back in, you are opened your eyes, but you're on the 31st of December. Stay in that moment. Hey, Holly, hey, Pam, give me a little thumbs up, a little like or a wave there. I'd love to see the interaction. Right now, we're just envisaging the 31st of December and how we have just completely conquered every single goal that we've set and how we're feeling and who we're with and what we're, ch what we're charging our glasses to, to, to really celebrate our business success. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because your eyes are open, but we're still thinking 31 December. Now, I wanna share with you that those goals or those things that you've just envis envisaged might seem really scary because they're big and they're audacious and it's a goal that you think, oh gosh, can I really do that? But I wanna tell you, I've got a little acronym for this. I'm the queen of acronyms, love them. So I call these your big, hairy, audacious goals or your BHAGs. So what big, hairy, audacious goals did you just see that you have envisaged in your life on the 31st of December? Pop them down in comments. I would love to see what your BHAGs are, what your big, hairy, audacious goals are. Pop them in the comments below and uh, let's have a look at at what your goals are. Is it that maybe you introduce 20 new clients into your business? Is it that it's 100 new clients into your business? Did you double your revenue? Did you take time off for the first time in your business ever? What is your big, hairy, audacious goal? What did you just achieve in 2019 as you're sitting there on the 31st of December? And then I want you to think about, you know, what, what you're currently doing is different to maybe what you need to be doing. Remember, what got you to the 18th of September is not going to get you to the 31st of December. If we want more, if we want to achieve bigger, hairier, audacious goals, we need to do some things differently. And I want you to ask this question of yourself just now, because remember what we're doing here is we're assuming that we've already achieved our goal, okay? What does the business need from me? As opposed to what can I do in my business? I want you to put in there, what does the business need from me to have already achieved your goal, okay? So, oh, I love this, Jamie, to help 1,000 people lose over 10 kilos each in the next six months. Jamie, applaud you, I love that. Well done to you, that certainly is a big, hairy, audacious goal, but what I love most about it is that it's a smart goal. It's specific, measurable, it's achievable and agreeable, it's realistic and it's trackable. I love it, it's awesome, Jamie. I, I just love your goal, fantastic. Who else has got a goal? Pop it down in comments, I wanna see your BHAGs down there. I love this one from Jamie. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're going to start with the outcome. 
We're gonna start with the result. Here's Jamie's result to help a thousand people lose over 10 kilos in the next six months, okay? So we've got a, a BHAG there and we're gonna work backwards from that. Okay, so now we don't start to ask yourself how, we're just gonna think about the goal. What's the goal? What's the big, hairy, audacious goal? What are you celebrating at the, the end of the year going, yeah, I did it, this is amazing. All right, so you've got some examples there, maybe it's 20 new clients, maybe it's, you know, it could even be combined weight loss of, you know, I don't know, 500 kilos, you know, weight loss in the next three months in, in your gym, in your business. Whatever that looks like to you, pop it down in comments. Um, put your BHAGs down there, or importantly, write it down for yourself. Now, if you like step two, remember step two is achieving that we've already, sorry, assuming that we've already achieved our goal. I want you to put that little hashtag, hashtag magic. And for those of you that are just starting to join us now, there's a handout coming to you when you put the hashtag magic just down in the comments below. You will get this handout and that's gonna help you really work through being able to uh, solidify the magic of the fourth quarter in your business. All right, we are up to step three. Who's ready for step three? Throw me a little like or a love heart. Be, be slow with the likes and the love hearts, guys. Throw me a little like or a love. I would love to see that. David, fantastic. 50% increase in member fees by 31 December. I like that, David. That is a great one. Throw me a little love heart if you're loving this. Thank you, Ev. Um, all right, so step three. Here we go. Jot it down. This is the most critical and crucial point. It's my favorite um, because this is really going to give you a roadmap of, of how we're going to achieve this. So step three, hey Noemi, you're, you're right in time for step three. Remember start one, uh, sorry, step one is to start with the end in mind. Step two is to assume that you've already achieved your goal. And now step three, here we go. It is what had to happen to get there. So what had to happen for you to have achieved that big, hairy, audacious goal? Now remember, we're still sitting, our mindset is still on 31st of December 2019, stay there with me. Now what we're gonna do is write a list of all of the things that we did between 18 September and 31 December to be achieving those results. Jot them down. So imagine, imagine that you've already achieved that goal. You made it possible. Now what you're doing, by writing this list, you're thinking back, you're going, okay, what was it? Was, um, was it that I had a special offer? Did I have those 20 new clients in my business? Um, did I have a thousand new people in my business? Where did those people come from? Did they come from Facebook? Did I run some Facebook ads? Was it Instagram? Was I doing lots of organic Instagram uh, stories? Was it an email marketing sequence? Was it an open day? Okay, think about where this came from. And you know what, since it is possible, because right now you're sitting on the 31st of December and you're congratulating yourself and you're celebrating, all you need to do now is figure out what you did differently for the last three months that got you to this point. And you know what, in my experience, guys, this process is one of the most powerful goal setting tools that you could possibly have. It's called assumptive goal setting. So most majority of the clients that I've worked with by doing assumptive goal setting have said to me that they wouldn't have come up with as many great new and creative ideas if they hadn't have framed it this way. Because if you're in the present moment looking forward, it can seem really overwhelming, scary and hard. But if you're already in the future, all you're doing is working backwards. You're now writing your list. Oh yeah, I did this to get there. I did this to do that. I made X amount of calls on X amount of days. I you know, stayed, I got up an hour early to commit to my business. I put a planning day in place once a month, every month to plan out the next three months. What was it that you did differently in the last three months of 2019 to have achieved those big, hairy, audacious goals? Throw me a little like, throw me a little love heart if this is resonating. If this is making sense, pop those little loves and likes on there. I'd love to see your interaction, guys. Um, and you know what? It, I know it is common out there that a lot of um, a lot of people kind of think to themselves, oh gosh, you know, the, the last, the back end of the year is just really tight. I come up a lot of, against a lot of objections where people are saying, oh, it's just too expensive. It's a really expensive time of the year. But I want you to consider this. Now, my background is from a retail perspective and in the retail trade sector of Australia, Australians spend the most amount of money that they spend all year in the fourth quarter. 
Why? Because it's Christmas and people are out there spending and socializing and it costs a lot of money, obviously. So they're out there and they're throwing their money around. There are people out there and they have money. They are spending it. But if they're not spending it with you, then who are they spending it with? So just as a little thought starter, okay, um, rather than those their money going to those tangible items, experience of, experiences have become super duper popular um, in the last few years. So, you know, buying somebody a Christmas present that's an experience has really gained a lot of popularity. So just a question and a thought starter for you guys. Do you offer gift vouchers? Do you offer something like that that could be put into a Christmas present? Just an idea, okay? Cool, love the thumbs up there. Thank you, Philip. Um, just, just some consideration there. And you know what, guys? This is step three. Remember, this is us asking ourselves what had to happen to achieve that, what had to happen to get there, okay? And what you're doing right now, and I love this. Actually, I'm gonna backtrack. Do you know, we always say there's this golden saying in life, and we always say, oh, isn't hindsight a wonderful thing? Oh my goodness, if we all had hindsight for our current moment, how great would you be? What would you do differently? Where could you land? What possibilities, what opportunities are open to you? So right now, by you writing this list, what you're doing is you're giving yourself a gift of hindsight because you're already in the 31st of December. You already have achieved your goals. You are now figuring out exactly what you did to get there. So you have hindsight in the present moment. This is super powerful, guys. Throw me a little like or a love heart. Give me a thumbs up if you, if you agree with this. If this resonates with you, I want to see that that makes sense. Now, if you like step three, I want you to push, put in the comments below, hashtag magic. Write the words hashtag magic. And straight after this, you're gonna get our little handout delivered straight to your Facebook private message. And you're gonna be able to work through this process all, all for yourself and with your own business. You might even do it with your team, okay? So hashtag magic in the comments below. Um, and we're getting ready for step four. And this is insanely exciting. Love this. Hey, Natasha, good to see you on, on our Facebook Live Crush Wednesday. We're discussing the magic of the fourth quarter and we are now up to our fourth step. So I'll just quickly recap for those that are just joining. Step one is to start with the end in mind. Okay, very important. Step two is to assume that we have already achieved our goal. Okay, and we did a little bit of a, a mindset thing just there by closing our eyes and envisaging 31 December where we are and what, what we're going to be doing and what we've achieved. Step three, ask what had to happen to get there. All right, so we've just written ourselves a list. Now, step four, are we ready? Love the hashtags in there, Tash. Thank you very much. All right, so step four, this is your fourth and final step and this is where it all comes together. So we've started with the end in mind. We've assumed that we've already achieved our goal. Um, we've kind of, we've written ourselves a list of what had to happen to get there. So we've kind of got where we are on, in September, where we're going to be in 31 December, what we've done in between. Now there's something else missing. Something's missing in here. Any guesses as to what's in there? Put it in the comments. What do you think is missing? I wanna know your thoughts. What do you think could be missing between 31 December where we've already achieved our goal and 18 September, where we currently sit today, what's missing? What could possibly be missing? And I'm not gonna give you the answer. I'm not gonna give you the title to our fourth step. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it because now you're sitting there going, okay, what now? We're at the 31st of December. I can see where I'm at. I can see what I've achieved. But here we are on the 18th of September and I want you to bring yourself back to the 18th of September. It's today, you're here. If you're in Sydney, it's an overcast, rainy day there's undeniably a gap in the middle. By following these steps, oh Tash, next year, yes, absolutely, next year is missing, you're right. Um, there's something else bigger than that that's missing though. So by following these steps, you've got a clear goal of where you wanna be. Remember, how we finished 2019 is how we will start 2020. Um, we've got a clear goal, we've got an actionable list of items that we want to achieve, okay? Uh, take massive action. David, you are onto it. I love it. I'm going to give you something else as well. Don't go just yet because that's not, that's half of it. All right. So, and then you've also got a vision and a great sense of how we're going to be feeling on 31 December. 
The only thing missing, David, you've kind of got it there, is to take massive action. The person who can take that massive action, though, is you. It is you. Step four is you are the magic in the middle. Without you, none of this will happen. Your business wouldn't be where it is today in September. Absolutely, we're going to take action. And you are the magic in the middle. You are the one that can make this happen. You are that, that magic, that secret source in the center of between the 18th of September and the 31st of December. This is you. You've got a vision. You've got your BHAG, your big, hairy, audacious goal. Now you've got your actionable list and you have you. You have you, the magic of you. You've got the celebration of you. And I want you to imagine that celebration, the feelings that you're feeling, the emotions that you're experiencing, feeling like a winner, feeling inspired and motivated and energized, free to do anything that you want. So now I'm gonna recap. We've got number one, step one, start with the end in mind. Step two, uh, assume that you've already achieved your goal. Step three, ask what had to happen to get there. And step four, you are the magic in the middle. So now, ladies and gents, our crushers here today, I wanna to share with you, this might sound a little bit confronting, but uh, there are 104 days remaining in 2019. 104 days, that's it. So right now, hashtag magic in the comments below. I also want you to hashtag replay. If you're watching this on replay, let us know that you're on replay because uh, I know sometimes we can't get to it in live. So hashtag replay, hashtag magic, and we're gonna send you this really cool handout. It's going to be able to help you to really set the tone for the next 104 days so that you finish 2019 on a high, having achieved everything that you set out your mind to do, uh, kicking those goals and achieving massive, massive goals within your business. So go out there, crushers, make it an awesome Wednesday. Go out there and be the magic in the middle. So hashtag magic in the comments below. We'll get that handout straight through to you. Enjoy the rest of your day and make the next 104 days of 2019 the greatest days of the year. See you later, guys. Have an awesome one. Cry.